This is one of the, the, the many water hazards on the on the course today. That's, yeah, uh, that was a good shot of it there, and that'll let people appreciate what the what the athletes are going going through. Yeah, every every single athlete has to run through that, don't they? <laughs> they have to get pretty much knee deep. There was no way of avoiding that. You had to go through that gate in the hedge to get into the golf course. So um, yeah. ev everyone's getting their feet wet today. Right. Unless you've got the legs of a lion and you can just leap over it. <laughs> but um, no, I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt anyone will have it in the legs to uh, leap over that water. They'll have to. They'll have no choice but to just trudge on through it. Yeah, it was a good few strides through that. So I uh, don't think there's too many long jumpers here today. <laughs> but um, here we go. Here's the uh, here's the start of the under 15 under 15 boys race. So um, we'll see how they battle with those elements then, because you know, like we say, as the as the weather keeps getting worse, as it keeps getting churned up, you know, the, it's only getting more challenging, isn't yeah, it, for you, athletes? You can see the, the difference in the course already. A lot more mud as they've come down off the plateau area and they're swinging around the right here to go back towards the towards the lake and go around the back of the house where there was a, a lot more water than, than what we were talking about. Um, but look at the numbers here again in this, this race. and They're all still tightly packed uh, together. Yeah, yeah, a big, a big stampede of runners, just like, and it's, it's, it's really, it's really a start where you need to, you sort of need to use the hill straight away, don't you? The, the downhill bit, you need to take advantage of that and assert yourself early on. Definitely, and um, we've got a good pack here, though, attacking the, attacking the climb back up onto the, the wall. So we're a wee bit into the race as we pick up the coverage again. Yeah, um, here. Yeah, I think, um, I think these athletes are the only ones actually who, um, who don't actually have to go through that. Um, that uh, bit with the massive puddle or anything, um, where it's like knee deep that we just saw. I think these uh, are the no, no, they did, they did. They had to go through <laughs> that and get into the um, get into the course, the golf course, and small lap at the far end, and then come come back out. All right, so there's no avoiding it at all. No <laughs> avoiding it. Nope, nope. Uh, it wasn't planned, was it? That wasn't. <laughs> no, no that, that's just been the weather that we've had over the last the last couple of weeks in particular, but the last the last week really. Um, I say there've been a few course inspections and, and a few scratching the heads and, and worried uh, people about the about the event. So yeah, you're right. They did have a, a, a short lap to begin with, and um, here the blue lap for people that had a, a program. Um, they make up a, f a 4.1k race, and they, remarkably, all the all the laps were pretty accurate. The races ended up pretty accurate in distance, which was no mean feat. Um, and that's a, a great tribute to Andy Stevenson, Dave Lothian and the team from Falkirk. I'll be a bit biased, um, and it, but they certainly deserve a mention. The amount of work they've put in the last couple of weeks, me measuring and remeasuring the course, as we've had to do different bits, um, tremendous. And now the, it was a gap of about seven before, but now it's uh, gone down to five. Once again, the hill taking, um, picking some of them off yep. the hill. Yep, they're just passing the end of the drive to the the, the finish. So this is them um, coming round and they'll come back up onto the plateau. So they virtually completed a, a, a full lap. Uh, so it's starting to string out. Angus Wright, son of a famous runner, Hunters Bog Trotters guy, uh, up there as well in the Team East Lothian purple vest. So he's got it in got it in his jeans. Yep. Yeah, he's um, he'll be uh, well, maybe not used to conditions like this as as at his young age yet. Probably not. No, no, no. I, I don't think many of these uh, these athletes, the younger athletes, that have seen or experienced conditions like this. We did have similar conditions a few years ago, but it wasn't the the the, the wind that we we had uh, today. It was more rain. It was windy, but not the gales that we've had the last few days. Um, there's been some trees down in the park, etc. So we, we we didn't have that. So yeah, that's Angus there in the the, the purple with the the blue. But we've got the five uh, vest. I think that's Strune Bennett, two zero six six. And now a gap of an hour far now, and it looks like it's um it's just spread out now. It's uh, two athletes at the front and two athletes just behind them. So maybe maybe already leveling, maybe already um splitting apart and uh, fighting for separate medals. Yeah, there's a good bit running when you come up onto the, the, the plateau um, and obviously some of them have decided this is a, a decent bit of the course and time to put a, a bit kick in um, and, and move away. Mm. And they're getting uh, they're getting quite close now to um, getting quite close to the, the tail end, the, the business end of the course now, aren't they? Really yeah, where it, it, really where it, the athletes are sort of thinking about making a crucial move. So this is what most people call the back of the house. It's actually the front of, um, of Calendar House. 
and we normally don't run along this bit, we normally go up the nature trail, up the big mm. hill, so some people will be disappointed that that's not in there. Falkirk athlete going through there, and then a gala, so the borders well represented here, so people from the islands and the very south of Scotland, so it is really the length and breadth of the, con of the country that's here in our true national championships. Mm. Maybe, maybe back. Do you think maybe back in the day they'd have um, they'd have still made you go up the uh, top bit? Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably. There's Tar McAdam. Look, look at this. Look finish, at this. Though. Ooh, Vicky wow! Park. What a finish! What a finish from it. Ruben McDonald of Giffnick North again. Yeah, another another uh, another uh, win for Giffnick yeah. North. He's done really well, and Fraser Gilmer, he thought he had it there, and I'm sure he's disappointed he's leaning against that barrier, but what a finish from these two lads, and they really came through strongly in a bit that we didn't see back along the last key, back along the wall, and they obviously caught the leading two, and have went through um, tremendous running, and, and they've given us, I think, the closest finish of the, the day so far. Definitely, yeah, it went right to the wire, that one, didn't it? And it was, it was, a, it was a massive finish from... Ruben, Mc, Ruben McDonald, and I think Gilmore, he, he just pro probably didn't see it coming and just had no time to react. No, no time to react at all. Yeah, it's, it's he literally just got in front of him on the line and, and it was like a sprint, sprinter's finish, wasn't it? It was a dip to the line. Well, yeah, it's a yeah, victory snatched from, the, snatched from the jaws of defeat.